I'm Ted from Everything Attachments. We're today with the Bradco brand of dozer blade that fits skid steer loaders. This is an 84 inch, it also comes in a 96 inch. It's a fully formed mow board out of one piece of steel with an eight inch hardened cutting edge bolted across the bottom. It also has a cutting edge under the bottom where you're gonna be doing some dragging and we'll show you that as we turn it around. There's some other manufacturers out there that make this whole mow board in one large casted piece. The big advantage to that is it's much cheaper to build instead of fabricating all this steel with welders and people and labor. The disadvantage of it being casted is that if you're in cold weather and hit a manhole or doing work in cold weather period and hit something hard enough, it breaks instead of flexes. So this is out of like 570, uh, A570 steel and it'll take some flex without bending where the casted piece it has no flex, and if it flexes, it simply breaks. So we like the Bradco brand probably the best on the dozer blades right now. Turn us over to, to the side, Kevin, and we're gonna show you the other cutting edge. So you can see it has a really thick eight inch wide reversible cutting edge. When you wear this in, you simply flip it over, wear the other side. Then there is another cutting edge under here that's gonna give you wear without wearing onto your blade that can be replaced also. Come on around the rest of the way, Peanut. The back side of this is it's, it's folded around here to give it extra strength with a full side welded in. Then all of the tilt mechanism that's gonna be doing your angle, and it has an angle finder here if you wanna it goes from zero to 20 degrees. As you angle this, this is gonna stay level and give you your degrees of tilt on the blade. Now this is all three quarter inch steel within this. It also has shims behind here. So the more you use it, the more you tilt and angle it. Uh, if it starts getting loose, you can pull a shim out and re-put this back on, tighten everything back out like it came originally. It has really large cylinders on here to do your angling. And then this is the cylinder that does your tilt. And that's what does your control. Now, since a, a skid steer only has two lines running to the front, if you have high flow, you may have three lines, you may have five lines, but still you only have one direction one way of flow and one direction the other way, regardless of how much flow you have. So this is doing two functions instead of one. So you have a hydraulic solenoid valve mounted under here that's electrically controlled. And you can buy a Pacific wiring, if you have a cat, John Deere, a Bobcat, you can buy a Pacific wiring harness that will plug in right beside of your couplers and you will be able to operate it from the joystick of your machine. The only bad thing about that is if your machine ever needs repair and is in the shop and they give you a loaner unit or you're renting a unit or you change brands of unit or try to do anything other than that exact unit, then you're gonna need another $250 wiring harness to connect this blade to be able to use it. So I really prefer this magnetic control box which goes inside of the cab of your tractor, sticks to anything on your skid steer it only takes 12 volt to run it. So if you've got three or four different brands of skid steers, you trade brands, need to borrow one, whatever, you can still use your implement if you have this type of box. If you choose the custom wiring harness, you're stuck with what you've got and will need a different one to operate it on a different machine. So it has a nice stand here to get in and out of your machine with here. Even if you're in the snow or the mud, it's got a really good grade on it. And with these heavy duty cylinders, it just makes this a really strong blade. Now it only comes in 84 and 96, so you're gonna need a pretty large skid steer, something in the 80 horsepower plus to do a good job of this. And the new track machines really turn, turn them into a bulldozer. So they, they really do a lot of work if you've got a track machine. It's got the hose saver kit on it here where you can make your jumper hoses as short as possible. 
And then when you fully tilt it over, it just lets the spring do the work instead of having to use extra hose and keeping it out everywhere. So if, to help size this for your machine that you might have, give us a call or an email at Everything Attachments and we'll make sure that you get the right blade for your machine.